Okay, you guys. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've been up to lately. I just recently opened my Etsy shop. Yay! I'm so excited. It was a lot of hard work. Um, very tedious. Taking those pictures, giving the descriptions, getting all your policies in place, your shipping stuff in order. And I've, but I've been working hard at it and I finally finished. Um, I would like for you guys to check out my site. It's, um, I put the link in at, down the bottom too. It's, um, lovelybynature.etsy.com. Go check out my site, you know, just browse. Let me know what you think of it. You know, possibly give me some pointers or some ideas, uh, or, you know, how I can make it better or how you think it looks or, you know, just any feedback any feedback um and if anyone decides that they would like to purchase anything please feel free to do so we welcome your your support um also um i wanted to let you all know that we have a buy one get one half off on selected products they're all not up yet but they're they're on its way i've been working diligently on um you know trying to get everything up on the site but anyway, I wanted to talk about what I've been up to. And that's one of the things that I've been up to. Um, I wanted to show you all, all of the soaps that I made. Um, again, this one is, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Bear with me. <laughs> this one is, um, Akma. And I just did the top. Um, this is a two pound mold. And I'm sure it weighs a little more than two pounds. I try to fill it to the top. Sometimes when I add other things to the top, it definitely weighs a lot more than two pounds. But anyway, um, the top is just a little um, piping that I did. Um, it's unscented. This one here has a little rustic look. I had to pretty much, this one seized on me, that's why I had to pretty much um, push it down into the mold. So it's, it's kind of beat up, but it's good. And you know, each soap should always have its own identity, its own personality. And you know, I think it's cute. I prefer a much smoother bar, but again, each soap I think should have its own personality. It should be different in some sort of way. So here's um, Grape Googly Muggly. And I pretty much just piped the top. And the top is unscented. And I added some purple glitter. It's purple glitter. And um, uh, iridescent glitter. So that's that. It looks more like that one looks more like a um, hot process soap. So this one here smells so good. Um, it's called. Oh, where is it? Okay, you guys. Um, vanilla sugar dessert. But this one, I believe, is also um, a Lush dupe. And I think, I want to believe that it's Snow Furries or something like that. This so smells so good. I mean, it smells so good. Mmm. Anyway, whew, this is it, and it has um, a dollop at the top, uh, unscented. Yeah, it's unscented, and it just has iridescent glitters on top. But that's that one. This one here 
is my special blend of not a special blend but this is um this soap here was um scented with essential oils of lemon and lime so this is my pretty much like um seven up or sprite <laughs> um flavor this smells really good so quite citrusy so that's that and I did like a little tiny little swirl on top and once I cut it there should be some swirls on the inside so me and lovely will cut this later on um but yeah um this doesn't have a fragrance oil it has essential oils of lemon and lime Oh, I'm excited because I haven't done a um I haven't done my own blend in a, a, a long time. I have so many um bottles of essential oils and I haven't played with them in a while. Patch, patchouli, and orange and patchouli and yang lang or yeah, I think it's yang lang. Those are my favorites. I love those. People don't like patchouli, but I do. I, I mean, when you blend it with something, it smells really, really good. So I think what I'm going to try to do is go back. I have to get my um, recipe book and find the recipes that I use. Oops, sorry. The recipes where I um, created my own blends. And I'll um, start um, adding them back to my soaps because I used to do a lot of blending of essential oil so um that's something i want to get back into but again this is lemon lime and i might call it lemon lime on time remember the little um double dutch um uh uh song lemon lime on time so one two any of you all know that anyway that's a game i used to play so i might just call this lemon lime on time Uh, this one here, and I believe it may have like um, a swirl in the middle somewhere. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Again, I was up to like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I don't really remember exactly all of the things that I've done to these soaps. But this smells good, and it has glitters of... Um, uh, pink glitter, purple glitter, and iridescent glitters on there. Uh, and this one is Hay Sugar. I may say, call it Hay Sugar Baby or something like that. I don't know. Um, hey, hey, darling, Hay Sugar. Hey, something. I don't know. Hay Sugar. Yeah. So, I like that. That smells good, too. I'm not sure if that's a dupe or not, but I like it. So that's that. And back to the, um, oh, my cakes, my little pies. I call them pies. A lot of people call them cakes, but they look like pies to me. So the ones that I do anyway. So I call them pies. This right here is, I don't remember. <laughs> Lemon spaghetti, lemon spaghetti, and uh, I don't remember what the top layer is, but I think it's vanilla, vanilla delicious, or something like that. I have to look at my notes, but this is how it looks. I have to cut it, and it's just a mini one, so that's that. Need to speed it up a little bit. Um, this one here is oh. Pumpkin lager. Lager. This one, um, yeah, this, the bottom piece is pumpkin lager and the top piece is vanilla delicious. I think that's what it's called. Um, and the, um, piping on top is unscented, but here you have like iridescent glitters on there. Um, See, it's like a, a two-tone one, so that's that. Then we have Pixie Dust. Pixie Dust. Pixie Dust smells really, really good. And when I was um, making this 
um, pie yesterday, I was like, what else could go with pixie dust? Because I didn't want it to be all pixie dust. So I was like, the way that it smells, it smells sugary. So I said, well, what I'll do is I'll make, um, use, um, the, make the top grape googly mugly. So, cause it has like a grape, the pink on this smells like, I don't know, like, I don't want to say cotton candy, but it's sweet. So grape is sweet too. So I, I maybe I call this, um, I don't know. I have to make a name for it. I don't know. But anyway, that's the top. Um, it doesn't have any glitter on there only because I was so tired that I forgot to put the glitter on there. And you know, if you don't put the glitter on there, um, right after you soap it, every time you touch it, the glitter will come off of the soap. So it's like really no point in, you know, putting glitter on there if you don't put it on there right after you soap it. So that's that. I like that. I like that. So that's that one. I'm going to show you this big one, my big pie cake, whatever you want to call it, it's up to you. This one is Vanilla Delicious. Got a little something there, a little, um, okay. This one is Vanilla Delicious. Vanilla Delicious on the bottom and Vanilla Extract on top and it smells good. And I'm not a vanilla person. I don't really like vanilla, but this smells good. Mm. This smells good. It smells, yeah, you, I want to, yeah, it makes you want to eat this. Mm. Smells good. And again, I forgot to put glitter on there. So I don't know if I'm going to try to like, Put, just add a little glitter on there or not, but this is it. Yeah. Um, the mold that I use is um, like this. I actually got it um, at the thrift store. I got two of them. Uh, two of these for like $3 and some change. I thought that it should have been a little less because it was a thrift store, but that's okay but I like it so I said I will go ahead and I'll make some bigger ones so this is it um, I'm gonna make a few more cakes today I want to have like at least um, I want to make like maybe like 10 more because I definitely want to you know promote these it's like um, birthday gifts you know just a you know um, as favors or something like that for you know people's parties you know you have a cake that you can eat and then you have the cake that you know you can give away as favors you know to your guests so uh, that's what I that's what my hopes of um, making these are for so that's that I'll cut these later man lovely I'll come back later on after we've put our dinner on because it's late and we haven't put any dinner on that's because I woke up so late and we had our breakfast late then we had our lunch late, and we're going to have our dinner late. We like to eat dinner around 4 o'clock, 5 at the latest. But um, I woke up late because I went to bed at 4, so sorry. Um, so 